What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. We are going to talk about the best unlimited sprint data plan to choose from. They have three of them, so let's get right into it. All right guys, so as you can see, there's three lines each. There's unlimited basic, unlimited plus, and unlimited premium and for one line of unlimited basic it's only 60 bucks so it's very reasonably priced unlimited plus 70 bucks and then unlimited premium 90 bucks uh, as for you going for four lines it's 140 bucks on unlimited basic 180 on unlimited plus and it goes as high as 240 bucks on unlimited premium now what you get with unlimited basic is 480p video which is DVD quality, which it sounds great, but it's really not. 4080p is really crappy looking video, especially on an iPhone or a Galaxy phone or an LG phone or a Pixel phone. Whatever phone you're using, it's going to look bad. 480p video, again, really, really bad. But if you're on Wi-Fi, like at home or something, it's going to look perfectly fine. As for hotspot, you're only getting 500 megabytes of LTE data, which is basically enough to... Uh, I don't know, a few hours of not even. Uh, basically, you watch a video or two and then you're done. It's gonna, you're gonna have to uh, uh, use up all your data at that point on a hotspot. It's not a lot. It's good in a pinch, but regardless, it's not very good. And then unlimited 3G after that, which is slow, especially on CDMA networks. So you're not going to be able to do much with the hotspots. I don't think you will be on the unlimited basic. As for international, you're getting unlimited talk, text, and five gigabytes of LTE data. That is pretty good, actually. And I don't look down upon that at all. That should be good enough for somebody uh, that doesn't do too much data. If you're just going to do use your data in a foreign country to um, do like GPS things, that's going to be perfectly fine. I wouldn't go out there and upload photos and watch videos and things like that. I would do all of that on Wi-Fi, but just the, the regular you know stuff or to me, if you need to look at Facebook, uh, do that, but otherwise don't use it to hog up all your data with that five gigabytes because it's not that much data, but it's enough to do some stuff. Extras, you get Hulu free, which is a, um, you'll get the commercial based version of Hulu and it allows you to watch TV shows from like NBC, ABC, things like that. And some movies on there as well. But again, with commercials, some extra info to keep in mind on the unlimited basic plan. Music is only going to be 500 K, which is pretty low. Um, so you might not be able to stream the highest quality music that you'd want to on here because it limits you gaming streams up to two megabytes. Again, not amazing. Your gaming might be laggy, might be not that great, so keep that in mind. Again, if you're a gamer, you probably don't want the unlimited basic plan. Mobile hotspot is reduced to 3G speeds, like I said, after 500 megabytes on the unlimited basic plan. Unlimited Plus, which is probably going to be the sweet spot for a lot of people, 70 bucks for that first line and then 180 for four plus lines. One thing I didn't mention on all three of these is the data type. It's unlimited up to 50 gigabytes. So once you hit 50 gigabytes, it potentially could slow down, but 50 gigabytes is a ton of data. I would guess 99.9% .9 of the people in the United States, maybe a little less, wouldn't even reach that uh, amount of data because it is so much. And once they, once you reach that uh, uh, mountain, they might, they'll, might potentially slow you down. As for video quality on the Unlimited Plus, it's 1080p, so that's pretty good. Um, I would definitely not be upset with that. Um, hotspot, you're looking at 50 gigabytes of LTE data, and then it goes unlimited 3G. That Again, that's tons of hotspot data. It's going to allow you to connect your computer, your laptop, um, your uh, tablet, maybe an extra phone that doesn't have a SIM card in it. That's a lot, a lot of data. When you, when you add the 50 gigs plus the 50 gigs of the data type, it's 100 gigs right there. That's a lot of uh, stuff you can do online. As for international, it, basically all of these are the same more or less, but this one's going to give you unlimited talk text and 10 gigabytes of LTE data. Great amount of data. Most people don't go away for a full month. So having 10 gigs for a week or two or a few days, that should be plenty for almost everybody. As for extras, Hulu again is free, which is that video service kind of think of like Netflix, but for like, you know, more recent TV shows, on uh, ABC and NBC and different networks like that, and also some older movies. Title, think of it as a music competitor to Apple Music or to Spotify. Uh, it's in the same range as that, and that's cool that they give you that for free. As for info, you know, to keep in mind, it is unlimited data, like I said above, but they slow down in certain areas. Music is 1.5 megs, which should be enough to, to stream pretty high-quality uh, music at that point. 
Gaming streams up to eight megabytes per second, which should be hopefully good enough for your game streams. Uh, it might slow down, it might lag, but at least it's eight versus, what is it, two on the other um, unlimited basic plan. The plan, if you don't want really any hold back on anything, is the unlimited premium, but it's also a lot more expensive. 90 bucks for one line, 240 bucks for four lines. That's freaking crazy. That's extremely expensive. That's going into Verizon territory with that, but they're giving you a lot more than Verizon does it, pretty much in certain areas. Data type, again, unlimited, uh, up to 50 gigabytes, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. As for video quality, it says 1080p, it says full HD, but it, it, it might be more than 1080p. So don't be surprised if you get 2K video quality or even 4K video quality if you're able to do that, but definitely at least 1080p. As for hotspot, they're giving you 100 gigabytes and then unlimited 3G. It's insane. That's so much data. You, you, that's plenty and that's amazing. Also, International, you're getting unlimited talk, text, and 4G LTE data, meaning you can use your plan as you wish with really no reservations. Uh, so if you can, if you're a big traveler, this is going to be perfect. If, a, a, a person that travels a lot, this might be a perfect plan for you. As for the extras, the extras are pretty sweet on this. Hulu again, which is that video service. Title, which is the music service. Lookout, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's like antivirus software if you need it for free. And Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is like 100 bucks a month, 100 bucks a year. Um, maybe it's 120. I forget. It's pretty expensive at this point. They keep pushing up the price. Um, they're giving you that for free. So if you pay for Amazon Prime and you have maybe the Unlimited Plus, maybe you want to switch up to the Unlimited Premium just because of the fact that they're able to give you an Amazon Prime and maybe that makes the pot a little bit sweeter for you. As for info in terms of like, is there any hold back on gaming or music? There's none. So that's amazing with the unlimited premium plan. So which plan is for which person? Unlimited basic actually is not that bad of a plan, especially if you're somebody that doesn't really mind about the quality of the video you watch when you're out and about and you just want something that's going to work for you. I would say get the unlimited basic. You know, if you don't worry too much about the music quality that like in the game, you know, game stream, Get the Unlimited Basic. Save yourself a ton of money. Unlimited Plus, I still think, is kind of the sweet spot for probably more than 50% of the customers that they have. So if, 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 the, if, if you want some better quality music streaming and you want better quality video streaming and you need some more hotspot because you like to share your data from your phone with some of your other devices, definitely go with that one. The Unlimited Premium is a little bit more difficult to uh, recommend just because the price is so high and you're on Sprint's network, which usually isn't rated the best network, really ever rated the best network out of anybody. So at that point, it's really tough, even though they're giving you a lot of stuff to not really have to worry about or think about, and they give you Amazon Prime for free and all the other stuff like Hulu and Tidal and 100 gigabytes of uh, Hotspot, and they don't hold back when you game stream or listen to music or really when you watch videos. If that stuff's all important to you, get that. But otherwise, I still think the sweet spot's the plus, and then if you're on a budget, definitely go with the basic plan. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you out a lot. Let me know in the comments down below if you have Sprint and which plan you have and why you chose it. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.